In today's lecture, we will discuss uh, two different uh, methods of solving differential equations. And uh, the second method that we will see is, uh, uh, is an extension of the first method that we are going to discuss. Okay, And both these methods are iterative methods to solve a differential equation at, uh, at a particular point. Uh, when we know the differential equation representing that particular function okay so <clears throat> let us look at the first method which is called as the Euler's method and the second method is a modified form of Euler's method which is an extension of the Euler's method so it's called as the modified Euler's method which we'll see in the latter part of today's lecture okay first let us focus on uh, uh, what is the Euler's method? It's a very simple method and uh, it's an iterative method in the sense that we have to repeat certain calculations as, uh, for a certain number of iterations until we get the desired answer. Okay, so Euler's method is used uh, to solve differential equations. So we have a differential equation which is of the form dy by dx equal to some function of x and y. And uh, as you notice, this is a first order differential equation and uh, we have some initial conditions with the initial condition which we define as y of x naught equal to y naught so we are given the value of x naught which is the initial value of x and the corresponding uh, corresponding value of y naught which is the uh, value of y for that initial value of x and then we have to find the new value of y for some new value of x so uh, we have to go through the process iteratively until we get the desired uh, value of y so in Euler's method what we do is we, we have as a starting point what is x naught and what is y naught so using these values of x naught and y naught we are go going to compute the new value x1 and y1 so in Euler's method, we will compute x1 as x0 plus h. And uh, y1, the new value of y, will be computed as y0 plus h times f of x0 y0. This f of x0, y0 is nothing but the uh, the, slow, the, de the derivative evaluated at x0 and y0. So because the derivative is given as a function of x and y, we are evaluating that function at x0, y0. So that is basically uh, evaluating the slope of the function uh, at the initial value x0 and y0 and multiplying it with this uh, with this parameter called h which is called as the step size so step size is another initial condition uh, that will be specified to us okay as uh, using step size h so h will also be specified and using these initial values of x0 y0 and h we will compute uh, the new value x1 and y1 so for example if we started with x0 equal to 0, then we will have x1 as x0 plus h and say h is 0 0.1. So x0 0 plus 0 0.1, x1 will become 0 0.1 and y1 will be some new value of y. And suppose we want to find what is the new value of y when x equal to 0 0.5 using h equal to 0 0.1, then you have to do 5 iterations because we start with 0 and we have to go forward in steps of 0 0.1 until we get to 0 0.5. It's something like this. So suppose we have uh, at x0, so our point, let's say that's x0 equal to 0. And we want to find the value of y when x equal to, say, 0 0.5 using h equal to 0 0.1. So that means from 0 to 0 0.5, we have to move in steps of 0 0.1. So that will be 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, and 0 0.5. So that will be our step size h. Okay. So depending on the step size and depending on the final value of x at, we want, at which we want to evaluate the function, 
uh, we need to perform that many iterations. So in this case, if we go from 0 to 0 0.5 with a step size of 0 0.1, we have to do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 iterations, right? So the step size and the final value of x will determine how many iterations that we need to perform. So we need to keep doing this uh, until we get to the desired uh, value of x, okay? So in general, the rule is the uh, the formula or the rule to compute the new values in general uh, the new value of x which we will call as xn plus 1 is the old value of x which is xn plus the step size h and the new value of y which we will call yn plus 1 is the old value of y which is yn plus h times f of xn comma yn so that's the uh, general formula for uh, computing the new values in euler's method and that's for n equal to 0 1 2 and so on until we get to the desired value okay so let's uh, dive into an example and uh, solve a differential equation and that will make things much clearer so it's a rather straightforward method and uh, we'll do an example and it will become much clearer after that okay so let's do an example so we have let's say a differential equation dy by dx as minus x y squared it's a function of x and y and uh, given y of 2 is equal to 1 so that means this x naught is equal to 2 and y naught is equal to 1. So we have been given uh, x naught and y naught in this form as y of x naught equal to y naught. So if something like this is given, uh, don't be asking where is x naught and where is y naught. You are, no, you are supposed to identify uh, from the given information which value represents x naught and which value represents y naught. Okay. And uh, you're asked to solve or find, okay, find y of 2.4 using h equal to 0 0.1. So you will use Euler's method to find y of 2.4. We know that when x is equal to 2, y is equal to 1. We are asked to find what will be the value of y when x is equal to 2.4. And uh, we are going to use Euler's method using a step size h of 0 0.1. So that means we have to go from 2 to 2.4 with a step size of 0 0.1. So it will be 2, uh, so we will start with 2, go to 2.1, 2.2, 2.3, 2.4. So that's, give, that's going to give us 4 iterations, right? So we'll have to perform 4 iterations to uh, get this done. So the first iteration corresponds to n equal to 0, right? So we have xn is equal to that's xn plus 1 is equal to xn plus h and because we want to find x1 that means we are going to use n equal to 0 now for the first iteration so when you put n equal to 0 we are going to get uh, x0 equal to sorry uh, x0 plus 1 which is x1 equal to x0 plus h so for n equal to 1 we are going to get x1 is equal to x0 plus h, which is x0 is 2 plus h 0 0.1, which gives us 2.1. And uh, similarly, yn plus 1 is yn plus h times f of xn yn, which is equal to Oh, let me write it. We'll put n equal to 0. So that gives us y1 will be y0 plus h times f of x0 y0. So uh, that would uh, give us y0. The value is given as 1. So that's y0 is equal to 1 plus h is 0 0.1 f of x naught y naught so this is our f of x y right so that's our f of x comma y 
dy by dx is a function is a is a is the function f of x y. So in place of x and y, we will put x naught and y naught. So it will become minus x naught y naught square. So that will be equal to one plus zero point one into minus x naught is two into y naught is one square. So that is equal to 1 minus 0 0.2. Uh, so that becomes 1 minus 0 0.2, which is equal to 0 0.8. That means when x equal to 2.1, y is equal to 0 0.8. So y of 2.1 is equal to 0 0.8 so y of 2 is the initial condition given y of 2 equal to 1 now we have found y of 2.1 is 0 0.8 next we have to find y of 2.2 then 2.3 and finally we will reach our desired uh, point which is y of 2.4 so let's do for n equal to 1 so when n is equal to 1 we will be computing xn plus 1 which is x2 equals x1 plus h x1 from the previous step x1 is 2.1 so it will be 2.1 plus 0 0.1 which is 2.2 and similarly we'll have y2 is y1 plus h times f of x1 y1 so that will be equal to y1 we have computed in the previous step y1 is 0 0.8 so we're going to substitute there 0 0.8 plus h is given to us in the question which is 0 0.1 the step size into f of x1 y1 is minus x1 y into y1 squared so that will be 0 0.8 plus 0 0.1 into x1 is 2.1 into y1 is 0 0.8 square so we'll evaluate that and we get the new value y2 as uh, equal to 0 0.6656 okay so that means when x is equal to 2.2 y is equal to 0.6656 so y of 2.2 is equal to 0 0.6656 similarly we will do it for uh, n equal to 2 that will give us x3 and y3 so let's do that so for n equal to 3 we will have x x3 equals no, the second one is n equal to 2 right so we have to do now for n equal to 2 because in the previous step we did for n equal to 1. So now n equal to 2, it will be x n plus 1, 2 plus 1 is x3 will be equal to x2 plus h which will be 2.3, that's 2.2 plus h because x2 is 2.2. And uh, y3 will be y2 plus h times f of x2, y2. So that will be uh, y2 from our previous step is 0 0.6656. 56 plus h is 0 0.1 into 0 0.1 minus x2, y2 squared because our function. Uh, f of x y is given in the question as minus x y square now we're evaluating that function at x2 y2 so it is minus x2 y2 squared so that will give us 0 0.6656 plus 0 0.1 into minus x2 is 2.2 into y2 is 0 0.6656 square and when you evaluate this whole thing, uh, we'll get a y3 as 
So that means y of 2.3 is equal to 0 0.5681. Okay, we are asked to find y of 2.4. So we have to do one more iteration and that will give us the solution. So next we have to do for n equal to 3 and that will give us x uh, 3 plus 1 which is x 4 equals xn which is x3 plus h which is 2.3 plus 0.1 that gives us 2.4 next we will compute y4 which is yn plus 1 y3 plus 1 is y4 uh, equals to yn which is y3 plus h times f of x3 y3 so that will be y3 from the previous step. y3 is 0 0.5681. 0 0.5681 plus h is 0 0.1 into f of x3 y3 is minus x3 y3 squared. So that will be 0 0.5681 plus 0 0.1 into minus x3 is 2.3 into 0 0.5681 square so when we evaluate this whole thing we get the value of y3 as 0 0.4939 so that means when x is equal to 2.4 y is 0 0.4939 or uh, that corresponds to y of 2.4 equals 0 0.4939 so uh, that's that solution that we are interested in so that's our desired solution okay y of 2.4 because in the question we are asked to find what is y of 2.4 using the step size 0 0.1 and we are using Euler's method to solve this okay so we have found what is y of 2.4 uh, after four iterations and the answer is 0 0.4939 again let me reiterate uh, I've, I've told this in the past also when you're doing all these calculations make sure that you're using at least four numbers after the decimal point okay minimum four numbers are required after the decimal point when you're performing all these calculations so any rounding off has to be done beyond the fourth decimal point uh, you can use five uh, on the f fourth number of the after the decimal point. You can use five numbers also or more, but not less than four digits after the decimal point. Okay, so because uh, we want to avoid too many round of errors. All right, guys. So that is the end of Euler's method. It's a very simple method. Okay, and uh, the next method uh, that we are going to see is called as the modified Euler's method which is an extension of the Euler's method so in the modified Euler's method what we do is uh, we first compute the value of y using Euler's method and then using the solution from Euler's method well, we do one more calculation to get a better solution uh, that way it we have a better accuracy to our answer okay so we will uh, do the example uh, that is the same example uh, that we have done now but we will use modified Euler's method for this and we will compare the two solutions that is the solution obtained using Euler's method and the modified Euler's method with the actual analytical solution and see which one is giving better answer okay and this comparison is only for you for for for, for illustration purposes you don't have to do that uh, as far as the exam is concerned okay but I'm just showing you that the modified Euler's method is going to be uh, more accurate uh, than the Euler's method itself okay so we will now uh, discuss what is the modified Euler's method and eventually show that the modified Euler's method is more accurate uh, in, in, in the answer it provides all right so the next method that we are going to discuss to find the solution of uh, differential equation is the modified Euler's method and as I said, it's an extension of Euler's method. So what we do in our modified Euler's method is uh, we find the new value of uh, x and y, just like in the Euler's method, say xn plus 1, okay, the new value, as the old value xn plus h for x, so which is the same as in the Euler's method. And, and then we also find 
uh, y n plus 1 which is the new value of y as y n plus h times f of x n y n which is exactly what we did in Euler's method but uh, rather than calling this as y n plus 1 we are going to call this as y n plus 1 dash okay so that is like an intermediate value of uh, y the new value of y that we are going to compute and using this new value of y obtained using Euler's method we will do one more step to get what the new value of y uh, of the modified Euler's method and eventually we will see that uh, this additional step results in a better accuracy of the final answer so we compute the new value of y using the Euler's method but we call this as yn plus 1 dash okay and then from that value we will now compute uh, yn as that is yn plus 1 as yn plus uh, h times f of xn comma yn let me write that clearly f of x n y n plus f of x n plus 1 comma y n plus 1 dash by 2 basically what we are doing is we are taking the average of the slope at x n y n which is the current value of x and y and the slope evaluated at the new value xn plus 1 and yn plus 1 dash where yn plus 1 dash is the new value of y we have obtained from Euler's method and we, by taking the average slope at those two points then multiplying it with the with the step size and then adding it to the previous value of y that gives us the new value of y if it was Euler's method we just do this step and we call this as yn plus 1 but in the modified Euler's method, we evaluate the slope at this new value of yn plus 1, which is called as yn plus 1 dash, and then take the average of the slopes between the current value xn yn and the new point xn plus 1 yn plus 1 dash, and take its average. So we are computing the average and then obtain, obtaining the, uh, an answer for yn plus 1, which is going to be more accurate than uh, this yn plus 1 dash itself okay so that's the extra step that we have to do in the modified Euler's method so it is an extension of Euler's method okay so that's exactly what we have to do so let's do the example so I'm going to use the same example so solve okay uh, for the differential equation dy by dx equals minus x y square find y of 2.4 given that y of 2 is equal to 1 using a step size which is h using step size h equal to 0 0.1 using modified Euler's method Okay, so it's the same question, but we are going to solve it using modified Euler's method now. So let's proceed. So we'll start with n equal to 0, where we have x0 plus 1, which is x1, will be x xn, which is x0 plus h, which will be 2 plus 0 0.1, which is 2.1. y1 dash is yn 
or let me directly write it y0 plus h times f of x0 y0 so that will be y0 is uh, 1 plus h is 0 0.1 into f of x0 y0 is minus x0 y0 square uh, minus x0 y0 square so that will give us uh, x0 is 2 so that's minus 2 into x uh, y0 is 1 square okay so that will be f of x naught y naught and uh, that will give us y1 dash which is equal to 0 0.8 this is exactly what we had in in the Euler's method but we are going to take one more step forward and get a better uh, estimate of y1 so y1 so y1 will be and by the way, just to break up these steps, okay, this particular part is f of x naught y naught, right? So let me write it here, f of x naught y naught, because we'll use it in the next step, f of x naught y naught is equal to minus 2 into 1 square, which is equal to minus 2. Okay, and then we have uh, to compute now y1, which will be y0 plus h into f of x0 y0 plus f of x1 comma y1 dash by 2. That by 2, I'm going to bring it outside the bracket here, okay? So that we can keep the equation a bit cleaner. So the divide by 2 for the average, which should be here. I have just taken it outside the brackets and written it as h by 2 here. Okay, it, it means the same thing. So we need to know what is this uh, f of x naught y naught. And we need to also compute f of x1 y1 dash. So we now have y1 dash. So using that, we will compute uh, f of x1 comma y1 dash which will be minus x1 y1 dash squared because our function is f of xy is given as minus xy squared okay so we'll use the same thing so that will be minus x1 is 2.1 into y1 dash is 0 0.8 square so f of x1 y1 dash is equal to minus 1.344 when you compute this we get it as uh, minus 1.344 okay so that's our f of x1 y1 which we will now substitute in place of this f of x naught y naught we have it from here which is minus 2 and h is 0 0.1 and y naught is uh, 1 which we know from the question so we can now compute our y1 as y0, which is 1, plus h is 0 0.1 by 2, into uh, f of x0, y0 is minus 2, plus f of x1, y1 dash is uh, minus 1.344. So when evaluated, that would give us uh, the value of y1 as... 0 0.8328 so we get it as 0 0.8328 so uh, using the Euler's method we got this answer as 0 0.8 but with the modified Euler's method we get, we're getting it as 0 0.8328 so let us just uh, compare this with the exact answer if we solve analytically okay so uh, y of so basically this is when x equal to 2.1 y is equal to 0 0.8328 so y of 2.1 equal to 0 0.8328 this is the answer we are getting using 
modified Euler's method. Okay, uh, we got this answer y of 2.1 as 0 0.8 in Euler's method. Okay, and the exact answer uh, y of 2.1 equals the exact answer okay you don't have to solve it but i'm just uh, showing it just to compare the accuracy uh, of the euler's method and the on the modified euler's method the actual answer is 0 0.8299 okay so that's the exact answer which is obtained analytically okay so now if you compare the uh, answers that we have for modified Euler, which is this answer, with the exact answer, we find that the modified Euler's answer is much closer to the exact answer than the Euler's answer, right? The answer that we obtained from Euler's method. So the modified Euler's method, we are doing this extra step to, up, uh, to improve the accuracy of our solution. So the answer that we get within using modified Euler's method is more closer to the exact analytical answer. Okay, so we are doing these iterative steps. The exact analytical solution that you can obtain for this particular differential equation, uh, if you're using uh, calculus, would be uh, 0 0.8299. With the modified Euler's method, we get 0 0.8328. But if you use uh, Euler's method, we get it as 0 0.8. So, uh, modified Euler's method gives us uh, an answer which is more uh, closer to the exact analytical uh, solution. Okay, so we have obtained now y of 2.1. So, we need to do four iterations to get to y of 2.4 because we are asked to find what is uh, y of 2.4. So, we have to do three more iterations to get that. So, we'll now do for n equal to 1 so in this case we will get x2 equals x1 plus h which will be 2.2 okay uh, we are using a step size of uh, 0 0.1 okay if, if the step size give, is given to you in the question as uh, uh, 0 0.2 or 0 0.5 you will use that particular value for h okay so we have uh, x2 as 2.2 now and now we will compute uh, first of all uh, what is y2 dash so we have to find y2 dash which will be y1 plus f of oh, that is h times let me write that clearly plus h times f of x1 y1 so that is the uh, new value of y that we'll obtain using Euler's method, but we'll call that as y2 dash. So y1 that we have now is 0 0.8328. That is y1. That'll be 0 0.8328 plus h is 0 0.1 into f of x1 y1 which is minus x1 y1 square okay so that will be equal to 0 0.8328 plus 0 0.1 into uh, x1 is 2.1 into y1 is 0 0.8328 square so that gives us uh, y2 dash 0 0.6872 we get it as 0 0.6872 and uh, what we have in the bracket here this is our f of x1 y1 which is equal to uh, minus 2.1 into 0 0.8328 square that gives us minus 1.4565 that's uh, minus 1.4565 
because we are going to use this in our uh, calculation for y2 right so we have obtained y2 dash uh, as 0 0.6872 that's y2 dash and this is f of x1 y1 which is minus 1.4565 now uh, we want to find uh, f of x2 y2 dash which is uh, minus x2 y2 dash square x2 is 2.2 .2, so that's minus 2.2 .2 into y2 dash is 0 0.6872 square so that gives us f of x2 y2 dash uh, that is equal to minus 1.0389 using this we will now compute y2 as y1 plus h by 2 f of x1 y1 plus f of x2 y2 dash okay so that gives us y1 is uh, 0 0.8328 h is 0 0.1 by 2 f of x1 y1 is this one uh, minus 1.4565 plus f of x2 y2 dash is minus 1.0389 So when evaluated, that uh, this entire thing will give us y2, which is equal to 0 0.70803. So let me write that clearly, 0 0.70803. So y of 2.2 .2 is equal to 0 0.70803 and this is using modified Euler's method okay me is for modified Euler this is just I'm comparing okay if you're asked to solve you just need to uh, find this value but I am showing you the answers for uh, modified Euler and Euler and the exact analytical solution just to compare and show that the uh, modified Euler's method gives us uh, a better accuracy okay so y of 2.2 for Euler's method, we had got it as uh, 0 0.6656. That's the answer we got when we solve the same thing using Euler's method. So that is Euler. Okay. The exact analytical solution The exact solution is y of 2.2 .2 is uh, equal to 0 0.7042 so you see that uh, the value of y that we get using modified Euler's method is much closer to the exact answer as compared to the uh, solution that we obtain using Euler's method okay so uh, modified Euler's method gives us better accuracy okay so we have now obtained y of 2.2 .2 also for euler's uh, modified euler's method next we want to find uh, y of 2.3 and then y of 2.4 which is the uh, uh, the value that we are asked to find in the question so let's do for y of 2.3 now that will correspond to n equal to 2 so n equal to 2 that will give us uh, x3 equals x2 plus h which will be 2.3 uh, next we will compute uh, y3 okay i'm just going to jump some steps now y3 will be uh, y2 plus h by 2 into f of x2 comma 
y2 plus f of x3 comma y3 dash okay so we need to find what is f of x2 y2 and f of x3 y3 dash so let's first compute this so that will be so let's write f of x uh, 2 comma y2 which is minus x2 y2 square x2 is 2.2 and uh, y2 is 0 0.70803 So that's 0 0.70803 square okay so that will give us f of x2 y2 which is equal to uh, minus 1 point minus 1 point 1029 so that's what we get for f of x2 y2 and using this f of x2 y2 we have to find y3 dash which is y2 plus h times f of x2 y2 so f of x2 y2 this term we have already computed here so that will be uh, y2 is 0 0.70803 plus 0 0.1 into uh, f of x2 y2 is minus 1.1029 so that gives us y3 dash as uh, 0 0.5977 okay so we have now y3 dash next uh, we want to find uh, uh, f of x3 y3 dash because we want to use that value in our computation of y3 so we'll now compute f of uh, x3 y3 dash which is minus x3 into y3 dash square x3 is 2.3 so that's minus 2.3 into y3 dash is 0 0.5977 0 0.5977 square so that gives us uh, minus 0. 8217 so we have f of x3 y3 dash as well now we can substitute uh, f of uh, x2 y2 here f of x3 y3 dash which is this value into this and uh, we know y2 we know h we can now compute y3 so we'll get y3 as uh, y2 which is 0 0.70803 plus h is 0 0.1 that's 0 0.1 by 2 uh, f of x2 y2 is minus 1.1029 plus uh, plus f of x3 y3 dash is uh, minus 0 0.8217 so when we evaluate this we get uh, 0.6297 so we get 0 0.6 297 for y3 which is y of 2.3 okay y3 is nothing but y of 2.3 because we are finding the value of y when x equal to 2.3 so that's y of 2.3 equals 0 0.6297 okay so that's the answer we get using modified Euler's method uh, so that's with modified Euler and I'm just going to show you what is the answer we got from Euler's method so in Euler's method we got it as uh, 0 0.56818181 so that is with Euler and the exact answer is y of 2.3 equals uh, 0 0.60 Seven, nine. So if you see the answer that we obtained from modified Euler's method, it is much closer to the actual exact analytical solution 
as compared to the answer we get from the Euler's method okay so these two parts I'm just showing you uh, for the purposes of comparison okay you don't actually have to do it if you're asked to find something using modified Euler's method you have to do only till here okay uh, and just for illustration purposes I'm just giving you these values so that we can compare and observe that uh, the modif modified Euler's method is more accurate uh, as compared to the Euler's method okay so we'll do one more step and that will give us y of 2.4 which is uh, uh, what we want to calculate so for 2.4 we have to do n equal to 3 now so n equal to 3 that will give us x4 equals x3 plus h which will be 2.4 uh, next we want to find y4 y4 will be y3 plus h by 2 f of x3 y3 plus f of x4 y4 dash okay so we want to find uh, f of x3 y3 first of all so that will give us f of uh, x3 y3 let's compute that so that will be minus x3 y3 square which is minus 2.3 into y3 is 0.6297 square okay so that gives us f of x3 y3 as minus 0 0.912 and using this we can find y4 dash y4 dash is y3 plus h times f of x3 y3 which we have evaluated already so that will be y3 is 0 0.6297 plus 0 0.1 into minus 0 0.912 so that gives us y4 dash as 0 0.5385 okay we have now uh, evaluated y4 dash uh, using this y4 dash we can now compute what is f of x4 comma y4 dash which will be minus x4 into y4 dash square which is minus 2.4 into 0 0.5385 square and that gives us minus 0 0.696 it's minus 0 0.696 now we will compute y4 which is y3 0 0.6 uh, 6297 0 0.6297 plus 0 0.1 that's h by 2 into f of x3 y3 that's equal to minus 0 0.912 minus 0 0.912 plus f of x4 y4 dash which we have here as minus 0 0.696 so plus minus 0 0.696 okay so when we compute it uh, we get the answer for y4 as uh, 0 0.5493 okay so that means uh, y of 2.4 is 0 0.5493 so that's our answer using uh, modified Euler's method and the answer we get uh, we got for the same point y of 2.4 using Euler's method uh, was 0 0.4939 that is the answer we got using Euler's method And the exact answer is y of 2.4 
let me write that clearly y of 2.4 is equal to uh, 0.5319 that's the exact answer okay so uh, again is what you see is that the modified Euler's solution is much closer uh, to the exact answer that means the modified Euler's method gives us better accuracy as compared to the Euler's method but obviously to get the better accuracy accuracy we have to do some additional calculations so that means it is uh, uh, its computational complexity is more compared to the Euler's method but uh, if we want uh, higher accuracy then we need to uh, accept the higher uh, computational complexity that comes with it okay so uh, that's the modified Euler's method and uh, uh, the value of y of 2.4 using modified Euler's method is 0 0.5493 okay and again just to reiterate uh, these values that I've showed here you don't actually need to do that in the exam okay if you're asked to find y of 2.4 or whatever uh, for using the modified Euler's method you just need to compute uh, this part okay you don't need to uh, find the exact answer or the Euler's answer if you're asked to find using Euler's method you have to just do use the Euler's method and find uh, the solution for Euler's uh, I'm just showing here all these additional uh, answers so just so that we can compare and realize that uh, modified Euler's method gives us better accuracy as compared to Euler's method okay so that brings us to the end of this lecture and um, we just have one more topic remaining which I will do in the next lecture and that is uh, our fourth method of uh, solving a differential equation which is called as the Runge-Kutta method which we will do in the next lecture.